Hello, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. My name is Ashley, also Ash McPherce. So you may call me whatever you please. Either one, I'm okay with. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I will be talking about my top five luxury shoes. And I decided to do that because I did my bags. And I was like, how can you leave the shoes if you did the bags? Like, that's just not fair, right? So let's get into it. So the first shoe on my list, and I should say this as a quick like disclaimer, nothing is in any particular order. I may like some more than I like the other, but it doesn't mean I like anything any less, okay? So yes. So first shoe on my list are these baddies. <laughs> Look at these gals. Okay, these are the Jeffrey Campbell. To be honest, I don't know. Oh my God, hold them properly, you psycho. Um, I don't know what the name is. I can't remember, but these are the shoes. I recently worn them out this weekend and I love them. They are so, so comfortable. Now, as you can see, the insoles are gold and then the straps are all black and then here is gold as well. I do know that they have different versions where I think maybe all of this is black. I can't remember because this is the only one that I care to get. And honestly, I need to do better when it comes to remembering like the final details. So I greatly apologize. But this can be worn and this is how I worn it. I worn it as the two strap, just push my foot right in. But you can also wear it where the strap this is how I see them style it, where the strap is like that. Now, personally, it's not my free. I don't I don't ever think I will plan to wear it like this unless for some reason I need, like unless my foot is covered and I need the extra support than I would because I find that this gives me a very dated look to the shoe and I don't really like that. I, you know, I'm young, I wanna be look young <laughs> or feel young um but yeah it gives it a very dated look that i don't like so i don't really wear it like this but i like i said i i recently wore these out um and i just they were so so comfortable and if my memory serves me correctly jeffrey campbell is very synonymous with his shoes being extremely comfortable um so i wasn't really surprised that they would be comfortable but i was surprised with how comfortable they were you know like sometimes you're walking in your heels and you're like okay it doesn't feel that bad but i still feel like i'm walking in heels these were different they just it didn't feel like i was walking flat but it just felt so supportive and i just really like that um so yeah these are one of my you know in my top five because she she did that she did that Next for my top five is these. Oh, no, not like that. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. These. Now, these are the Versace. Uh, that's all I know. Versace heels. I am terrible with remembering these names. I will remember a bag faster than I will remember, remember the name of a shoe. Um, but... These Versace gals, oh girl, let me tell you something. She's absolutely gorgeous. I will say I got her on sale from the actual Versace website where they do their sale maybe twice a year. I got it during their winter sale. I am still currently waiting on their summer and spring sale. I don't know what's taking so long, but Versace, I'm letting you know now, I'm waiting. Anyways, so yes, I did get her on sale and she's absolutely beautiful. She is a frosted like pink she's a frosted pink color very beautiful um hardware is the same color one thing i do want to point out and something i did not know and i didn't hear anyone talk about or maybe if they did i just didn't see that particular um part but one thing i would say is the hardware is not metallic like i thought not metallic <laughs> not metal like i thought it would be or just more durable it's very light in weight and almost like ceramic and it could be ceramic i just like i said i'm not good with terminology and i don't want to speak it as if it's correct um but yes i was very surprised that it felt so lightweight but i guess if it 
was he any heavier, it would be very uncomfortable on the foot because she is a very high heel and very uncomfortable to walk in. I'm not even gonna lie. As much as I love her, she is extremely uncomfortable to walk in. This is a type of shoe where you are door-to-door -door service. You stand up for a few minutes to take your photos and you sit back down. Like, if you need to go to the bathroom, it better be something quick. Like, she's not the most comfortable shoe to walk in. She's extremely high um, and... I, I don't want to consider myself a pro in walking in heels, but I'm also no amateur either. You know, I'm, I'm I'm kind of in the middle, working my way up to a pro. But she she's she's a number. She's a number of uncomfortability. Uh, so I will say that, and I want you guys to know that. But look at the little Medusa. The little Medusa is my favorite. <laughs> she's so pretty. But with all that said, you know, I really do love her. Despite the door-to-door -door service, that's all how I will wear her. No other way, door-to-door -door service. Um, I really do love her. She defi definitely compliments any outfit, at least the outfit that I wore her in, and I can see her complimenting so much more. She's very much a universal kind of color. She can really go with a lot when you really think about it. Um, but yeah, this is her. I wore her with an all-white outfit recently, and she, to me, between her and the top and my brand and black whip, I, the whole look, was, it was a show. That look was a whole show. Next on my list of my top five are these bad boys. This is my Alexander Wang. This is, I'm assuming like a, a, a sling back, something, another, you know, all the names will be there. Don't worry about that. Um, she needs a little cleaning, especially in the PVC area, but these are her. Oh, I completely forgot to say the sizing that I got all of my shoes in and I will definitely put like somewhere of what sizing I got them in. But my Wangs, I got her in a 39 and she is true to size. She fits very well. Um, my Wangs are actually not an uncomfortable shoe. They are really not. What makes it uncomfortable are this this literal area right here. The um, the is it what did you call this PVC? Uh, it is very sharp. It is so sharp on your toe, and it's almost as if it's cutting your toe. And I need to figure out a way to smooth that area out, or I may just need to put like a clear tape or band aids on my toe when wearing it because it is so sharp. I'm so afraid that I'm gonna cut my toe. And then the the strapping, she goes, I either wear her as if a slip-on or as a sling back. Wearing them as a slip-on is actually quite easier than wearing them as a sling, sling back because the strap tends to slide off of the feet when you're wearing them as a sling back, which is extremely annoying for me. It drives me crazy. Um, so I usually just wear it as like a, a slip on or even a or mule, I guess you would call it. And other than that, and other than the toe strap, she's actually quite comfortable of a shoe. I really do love her. I feel like I'm bad talking my shoes and I really don't hate them. These are just things I feel like I wish I had known. Um, and I want to tell you guys. So yes, I do love my Wangs. I love them very much. Um, I was hunting them for a very long time. They were always sold out. As soon as they got in stock, no matter where I saw them, they were always sold out. So the minute I saw her, I scooped her up real quick. She was coming home to her rightful owner, her mama. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Next on my list, uh, we're almost done. I think we're at number four now. We're almost done. So next on my list, I decided to switch it up. We're doing sneakers. So these are my off-whites. They are, I think, the 2003 version. Yes, it is two, not 2003. Wow. 2013. I, I can't keep myself together. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but these are in a size 39. I really wish I had gotten them in a 39 and a half to have a little bit more room because if I don't wear her for a very long time, she tends to squeeze my feet. But then if I continuously wear her, she's fine. It's whatever, it's whatever. But I always wanted them, just never got them. And I saw them on sale on Sense or Essence and I was just like, I'ma get you, I'ma get it. Like I've always wanted them. And now with the untimely passing of Virgil, um, 
so unfortunate as such a talented human being i am very 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 glad that i have find i bought them and i'm going to cherish these forever i'm going to try my hardest to keep them in mint condition they do need a little bit of cleaning um but yes i am very glad that i got them and i couldn't be happier with them yes i tend to wear them with as many things as i can they can really they add such a chicness to any look and i appreciate that very much um but yeah that is it they're just sneakers and i mean i i'm making it sound so like uh whatever it that's not really how i'm trying to say it but yeah i really do love them i'm very glad i got them and these are definitely in my top five and last but not least we have my beautiful jimmy choo love heels i truly truly adore these i think these are my favorite luxury heels that i own i have no words they are in the color as you can see black patent patent right mm, see i got it this time last in my last one of my previous videos i was kept saying patent mm -hmm. it's patent i knew what it was it's just it took me you know so let's move on <laughs> anyways um she is in the beautiful 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 color black patent you could personally i could never get enough of this color and i truly love that the logo or the monogram of the jc is there and yeah i wanted a black simple black like pump and i wanted a designer one but i honestly did not want the louboutin because we all know those shoes are not comfortable and as a bigger girl I am not gonna waste my time buying a pair of heels that I literally cannot walk in. Like I understand it, like, I mean, I know I'm talking about the Versace ones, but in my defense, I wore those shoes months after I bought them, so. Mm. Anyways, and no one told me they were so uncomfortable too. I, you know, I'm prepared for the Louboutins. But anyways, I'm losing track. I did not want to get the Louboutins because they were so uncomfortable and I didn't think it was fair for me to spend that amount of money. So when I, I always knew or heard that Jimmy Choo was a lot more comfortable than the Louboutins, I decided let me see what I can get from there. And I came across these gals and I truly, truly love her. She is in the size 40 and a half. I got her from Net-A-Porter if i'm correct i think i got her from net a -Porte. i had to return her because i had gotten her in a size 39 and a half at first because that is usually my size in italian sizing and especially with heels and they you know the 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 sales rep told me like girl go up even higher than that don't get a 40 get a 40 and a half because these shoes she was like italian sizing or it's just one of those things where you have to you have to be very careful and especially since i have wide feet i was just like you know what i'm gonna do it unfortunately i kind of did wish i went with the 40 simply because that thing i talk about with my heel and having that spacing so when you're walking it feels as if it's coming off every five minutes that is what happens when i wear the shoe with stockings or pantyhose whatever you guys want to call it i call it stockings but that is what happens with these shoes other than that if i'm just barefoot in them they are far more comfortable than i thought they would be um i truly truly love them they're definitely some they are definitely a door-to-door -door kind of shoe definitely not something you want to go prancing around the world in but she's a lot more comfortable than i think a louboutin is um so i truly truly love her and she's probably my favorite all right guys that concludes my list i honestly would have included my manolo blonix my newest baby but because i haven't worn her out yet i would think that's a really biased um inclusion so i didn't want to include her but give me about give me a couple months i'm more than likely will do this again an updated one and she just might make the cut we will see 
we will see <laughs> but like i said that concludes my list of my top five luxury shoes i hope you guys enjoyed if you see anything on here that you were thinking about getting and this is kind of your way of solidifying if you should get it definitely let me know if you have any other questions about any other shoe that i have here and want to know it in depth so, like review definitely reach out to me and i'll let you know my opinions on them but yeah that is it um i definitely hope you guys like this video if you like more videos like this leave me a what kind of emoji should we do surprise me with the emoji leave me a surprised emoji if or the funniest emoji you can think of and then i'll know you like more videos like this <laughs> and if you have any suggested videos that you would like to see from me definitely let me know and i will see what magic we can create i will leave a video on screen and in the link below in in the bottom bar below for you to watch and that i think you will enjoy and that is it i don't think i have anything else to say definitely don't forget to like subscribe and comment and follow me on all the social media platforms and you guys have a great day bye